there, my name is Shayna and welcome to our homestead. Today we're going to be in the kitchen and we're going to be making three summer side dishes. They'll be great to bring for your family get togethers as well as your barbecues. A lot of these ingredients can be picked up at farmer markets as well as your own garden. So I can't wait to share them with you. And my husband and I actually are both culinary chefs and we love to cook together. So a lot of these ideas are inspired by our cooking here at home, as well as past jobs that we have had. So I hope you enjoy these and I will link the recipes below. So right now I'm starting to make my own mayo. All you need is one egg, salt, Dijon mustard, and about a tablespoon of salt, and then add a cup of avocado oil. Don't use any other oil. Um, vegetable oil is very high inflammatory as well as olive oil just doesn't have a great flavor. Uh, avocado oil is definitely more neutral. So one tip I would give you that's very important is when you put your immersion blender in the bottom of the jar, leave it there for at least a minute, then slowly move it upward so it can thicken up. This is the secret to making that mayonnaise. So instead of accumulating dishes, I went ahead and added the ingredients for this first recipe a broccoli salad. I added sugar, vinegar, and salt to the jar and mixed it up with my immersion blender. Here in the South, we love bacon. So everything is better with bacon. So you're gonna chop some bacon up and then you're gonna chop up your broccoli next in about half an inch pieces. And whenever you do, please do not use frozen broccoli. You definitely want fresh, the better. I actually got this broccoli from a farmer's market down the street from us. So one thing that I find is very helpful when you have um, dried raisins or dried cranberries or even dried blueberries, any kind of dried fruit, I like to soak them in a little bit of water. You'll see here in a few minutes that I had placed the cranberries, dried cranberries into a bowl. You'll see it right there in front of my cutting board and let them soak. And then I drain the water out. So the cranberries are not um, chewy in the salad, they're moist and they just tastes a lot better.
then next you're going to add um, the cranberries and then chop the walnuts and then you're going to pour the dressing into your bowl over your broccoli and the bacon and you're just going to mix it up and the best thing to do is actually to let it sit overnight if you cannot let your salad sit overnight um, wait for about two hours or so. Um, one thing about the dressing, the sugar sometimes is not dissolved enough in the dressing. So when you leave it sitting, it will absorb into the broccoli and it just seems to get kind of that grittiness out of the dressing. I guarantee you when you take this to your barbecues, it will be a big hit this summer. So I took a quick break from cooking and went out to the garden and was able to get some basil and also we had a quick snack out of our garden this year, uh, some sugar snaps. My two year old cannot get enough of these sugar snaps, they're her favorite. What did you find? I find this piece. Eat it. It's a sugar snap. Hey, thanks mom. Really good? Yes. Yeah. Don't eat the flour. <laughs> if you're enjoying these recipes, please like and subscribe. So next recipe is a roasted corn salad. You will need two bags of frozen sweet corn and some grape tomatoes. You can either use fresh corn that's already cooked um, or you can use the frozen. To the corn, you're gonna to wanna to add some avocado oil or olive oil, and then I like to add a little bit of seasoning on my corn directly, some granulated garlic, um, some salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And you're going to wanna to just sprinkle that on and then toss it before you are going to roast the corn. Then you want to add your tomatoes. I took some grape tomatoes and chopped them um, long ways in half and then I like to top it with a little more avocado oil before I roast it at 350 for about 15-20 minutes or until the corn is lightly toasted. So while your corn is roasting, you're going to want to make your dressing. Um, you're going to add my favorite oil, avocado oil, or you can use olive oil. You're going to add some granulated garlic, some onion powder, salt, pepper, honey, as well as some more Italian seasoning. And then you're going to mix that up real well. I like to add a little pinch of red pepper flakes.
And don't forget that fresh basil we got from the garden. You can chop that up and add it to the dressing as well. And after you pull your corn out of the oven, make sure you chill it and then add your dressing. So it's super quick and easy and you can eat this right away. I usually like to let it cool a bit longer with the dressing on it. So you may notice I'm pouring my corn salad into a pie plate. I like to use all the dishes I have and um, just have very minimal ones. So I thought it looked pretty. Last but not least, we're making a roasted summer veggie. This is gonna be just a combination of zucchini, squash, onions, eggplant, tomatoes, and this will allow you to use all your fresh veggies from the garden this summer. For those that are new to preparing squash and eggplant, just um, look at what I'm doing. I always peel my eggplant. It just tastes better to me. The purple flesh can be very bitter. So um, just watch me prepare these and um, then you get an idea of what size I'm cutting them. This squash and zucchini I was able to purchase from um, one of my favorite markets. It is actually in Farmville, Virginia called Sunny Slope. I go there numerous times during the summer. So, um, but they already have squash and zucchini and some other wonderful vegetables.
After you prepare and cut all your vegetables, you're going to want to add, I actually used um, olive oil here, but you can use avocado oil. Um, and then you're going to add granulated garlic, Italian seasoning, onion powder, salt and pepper to taste. And then you're going to just mix it up in the bowl and then um, put it on your sheet pan and bake it at 350 for about, mm, I say about 20, 25 minutes and then you will have a wonderful, healthy summer side dish. If you like this video, make sure you check out my other videos on making kombucha as well as some, a bread recipe that I enjoy. And I will have a lot of recipes coming out this summer. So make sure you subscribe.